Hi guys, it's Monica. I thought I would take advantage of this time to answer a couple of questions that I got on my Blink giveaway video and I had said in that video I wasn't going to respond to any questions to leave some on other videos and I did get some on other videos and I did get some in direct message and I got some on that video. So now to answer some of those questions and then at the end of this video I'm going to do another giveaway but you have to be subscribed, you have to like this video, and you have to leave a comment and you have to tell me which of the two products you would like because I'm going to pick two winners. But anyways, I, you know, it, it's always amusing to me how some folks feel really empowered when they're sitting at a safe distance behind a keyboard. And I think sometimes, you know, that keyboard gives people a false sense of strength and sometimes people can just be mean and say things that they may not ever say in real life if they were standing right next to you. So I'm always amazed at some of the comments that I get. I have never professed at all to be a, a beauty diva or an expert in any way at all. So do not misconstrue the answers to these questions as advice because I'm not going to give you advice. I'm just going to tell you what works for me, what I've done. And I think I've said that a number of times. So I'm going to get the first one out of the way. I'm not going to mention the folks name at all because that, I never know how, how that would, you know, be perceived. But anyways, the first question was Monica. What lip liner are you wearing lately? I notice you finally have gotten rid of that god-awful dark lip liner that you've been using and that dates you. Not that you have the best lips, but they look a lot better with whatever lip liner you're using. <laughs> I thought that was funny. So I'm going to tell you what lip liner I'm using. Um, probably a year ago, I was watching, might have been hot and flashy using a lip liner from Rimmel, Exaggerate, and it's East End Snob. I've used it for a while. I've used a number of them. My only complaint about this is it's a very, very soft liner, and if you pull out too much of it, it breaks off. You have to be extremely, extremely careful. So normally I do line my lips using a darker liner because you're absolutely right. I don't have the greatest lips. They're crooked. They're small. And somehow I think if I have the darker liner making my lips larger that they actually look larger. But anyway, so I haven't been using that in, um, I, I don't know, maybe the last I don't know, three, four weeks. And I've been using the lighter one, the East End Snob. So I hope that answers your question. So this question I got from someone who says they have tried to order the Nevea and it never arrived. So she's curious to find out what other anti-aging creams and processes do I feel have made a difference for my skin. So let me just say that I don't use the Nevea on my skin, although I do have a container of it that my niece got in Germany and I like using that. I like the smell of it. But that's not what the question was all about. Skin firming and soothing serum. You're absolutely right. You cannot find this anywhere in the States, I believe. I haven't seen it in a while. When I bought this originally, I bought two of them. One, one. And I had no idea if it was going to work, but I was seeing a difference in my fat pockets and that's the only place I put it on, so I bought another one. The other cream, because the question is, what other creams do I think have made a difference in my skin? And for me, I'd have to say it is the Bee Venom. I've been using that since November of 2016, and I really, really have noticed a big difference when I use that on what my skin is like when I wake up. Now, I have dry skin. That's my skin. I will also tell you, you have to listen to your skin. So if my skin is like in excess, you know, excessively dry, um, I'll put more of it on. Sometimes I'll put it on twice a day at night and in the morning, but usually just at night after I use my Retin-A. The next question, Monica, you're the first person that has ever mentioned using an oil-free cleanser 
on eye makeup when you use Care Pros. Can you please explain the reason for that? When I first started using Care Pros, I had, I think it was Mary Ellen after 60, Natalie the Beauty Diva, they had talked about it and I was like, I need to look into this product. So at the time there was a, a US distributor, there was a company in the States and I can't remember the name of the company. I know they, I believe they still do sell it. And I contacted them and I said, how exactly do you use this? And the person that answered me back said, we suggest you do not use any kind of an oily cleanser when you remove your eye makeup on the nights you're going to use this product. Somehow the oil residue can inhibit the Care Pros from actually working, the Bitumer Pros from actually working as quick or as good as it could. So, you know, unless you remove your eye makeup with your oil based product and then you remove all of that, then you put it on, it might be okay. But I was always thinking, well, I know now. I just end up getting the oil-free Equate because it's the cheapest one. And this is what I take my eye makeup off with on the nights that I'm going to be using my eyelash serum. Whether that's made it work better for me or not, I don't know. But that's what I was told way back when. I don't know, I've not heard anyone else say it. Um, I don't know whether it's true or not, but it does make sense to me. And so that's how I've always used it. And that is how I continue to use my Blink. I remove all my eye makeup with the oil-free product. When I'm not using the Blink, I sometimes take the castor oil, the Jamaican black castor oil, and I put it on my non-Blink nights. I just put it right on the base like an eyeliner, just like I would apply my Blink. I also will then use it and condition my lashes. So yeah, that's, that's why. I don't know whether it's the right thing or the wrong thing. Somebody else. I just recently purchased niacinamide 10% zinc by The Ordinary. Is it best to use this in the evening or the morning and what other creams can I combine with it or should I not combine? Is it considered an antioxidant? So again, I hate to give advice. There's mixed reports on it. I've read a lot of reports recently that says it is perfectly fine to mix it with vitamin C and anything of that nature. I use my niacinamide at night. It is the way I started to use it. It was the way that The Ordinary told me to use it in the beginning because I do buy it from The Ordinary. That's what their recommendation was. I sent them an email and they have their little, you know, their The Ordinary monkeys that come back and actually answer your emails and tell you what to do. And they suggested I use it just at night and not to mix it with any other you know, basic serum other than maybe the buffet or, you know, one of their other type of serums, but not to mix it at that point in time with the vitamin C. And so I just always did that. I um, don't use it in the morning. I just use it at night. I let it soak in. It's usually what I put on my skin after I cleanse and tone. If it's a Retin-A night, I let it soak in. And then at one point I'll go in with my Retin-A. If it's a derma rolling night, I will derma roll first, then use my niacinamide, and then my other serums, the buffet. I also use marula oil, I use squalene oil, I use carrot oil, so it's a couple of different oils that I use. So it really all depends. I really like the niacinamide. Can I tell you 100% it shrunk my pores? I don't know. I think my pores are better. I feel that it has made a difference on my pores, but my pores are still pretty big. And, um, but I, I think it has made a difference. So here's another one, um, Nevea question again. Where did you get the Nevea from? I bought it when it was still on the shelves. I believe I bought mine in Ulta months and months and months ago, you know, last summer sometime. So um, at that point in time, it was still on the shelves. It is not on the shelves anymore. I know you can buy it in the secondary market. Many people do. I personally wouldn't do that. I wouldn't want to spend the money on, on that, buying it on eBay or anything of that nature. But that's just my preference. 
The other question is, when you went away, I saw on your Instagram story that you had masks with you. How often did you mask while on vacation? Holy moly, I masked every single time, I, every single day if I could. I tried to do it a lot. My vacation was extremely active. If you watch the vlogs, we were outside a lot. We were in the elements. It was wind blown. I was exhausted and I looked horrible. But at night, I would put that mask on, sometimes even in the morning, and I felt so, so good. So I would mask whenever I could. I bought the mask because that's the next question at TJ Maxx. I, um, I happen to like a lot of the masks I can buy at TJ Maxx. I am not into spending um, big bucks on masks, so I, 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 like, I like the products. In fact, today I went to TJ Maxx. Let me show you. Hold on. Oh, I had to get a tweezer. But I, uh, I was hoping to get the same mask. I couldn't. But I got a cucumber facial mask. They're, they're both... Both the masks that I bought were, you know, they're, they're Korean skincare and a vitamin C collagen. So the masks that I buy are moisturizing masks. Soothing moisturizing masks because my skin tends to be dry. So I mask as often as I can. So that's the questions. If you have any more questions, go ahead and leave them in another video and I'll answer them. Or if you leave them below in this video, I probably won't answer them until I do another video. I did say in the beginning this was a giveaway. So I'm actually going to give away, and it's up to you whether you want this, either this unopened bottle of Skin Firming and Soothing, or this Lanacrame, Lanacrame, and this is the one I use all the time, be Venom face mask. So if you want to be entered, tell me when you when you enter, like the video, leave me a comment and tell me do you want the Nivea or the mask, the Be Venom. And I will pick two winners. This video will go live on Saturday. I will leave it up for a week. I will not respond to any questions, but I will pick two winners one for this and one for this. If nobody wants the second one or the first one, then I'll just keep it. But as that's the plan. So that's my um that's my plan. <laughs> I think uh, I really I really am enjoying doing some of the giveaways because a number one, I am very fortunate that I have the opportunity to get some products sent to me and these products I pay for. So that's, you know, not the case on that. But I've been fortunate enough to have some products sent to me and I think that is 100% because of you guys. You're watching my videos, you subscribe to the channel, you're helping the channel grow. And I think that's what makes it so that I have the opportunity to get some free products. And I just think it's kind of nice to kind of play it forward. So I want to do some more giveaways. I've got a stockpile of stuff that I'm going to be looking at doing. And I would also, if you, if you have any suggestions for a future video of topics, leave them below, but I'm not going to answer. I'll probably just heart all your comments, but I'm not going to answer. And again, this is going to run from Saturday to Saturday and look for on Tuesday, the winner of the Blink Eyelash Serum. So, hey, thanks so much, guys, and thanks so much for all your support. I truly appreciate it. Bye-bye.